Hello everyone, welcome back to Foxtech. This thing in front of me is the Apple Watch Series 8 and I'm gonna be showing you and talking about how you can turn it off or if you should do it to begin with. The process is in fact very simple because on the side of the Apple Watch you have the digital crown, this is the circular button which you can rotate and also one extra button which you can see right here. So this is the power button which you can use on your Apple Watch. So if you are anywhere doing basically anything, you can see I have to type the passcode in, but if you hold down on that power button, you have multiple things which you can click on and enable. Running the latest version of the watch OS shows you this uh, set of options, so you can show medical ID, compass backtrack or emergency call. None of this turns your device off because you also have to click on the power button located in the upper right corner. So you in this section, go ahead and click on that and you're going to get to this power slider similar to your iPhone. You can always just slide to the right, leave or lift your finger like this and your Apple Watch is going to turn off by this. Well, the thing is that it's really easy to turn it off. But that means that your Apple Watch will no longer be usable, but it's going to show time using the low power reserve mode. So that's that means that you're going to be able to show the time very briefly, but it's not going to use the Apple Watch for anything else. So I would not really advise you to turn it off unless you need to. So yeah, the question also is, should you do it? Should you actually go ahead and turn off your Apple Watch? Well, as I said to you, I don't really personally do it. Whenever it's the evening, I just put my Apple Watch on a charger. I don't care about it. I just leave it there. I'm not even sure if it's advised to turn your iPhone or Apple Watch off every single day. I don't believe that anyone is doing that, so you don't really need to do it. However, if you want to reset the Apple Watch in case there is a bug or some kind of issue going on in the software side of things, then restarting the Apple Watch may resolve that problem or at least help you find out what's going on. So for things like this, I would definitely consider turning the Apple Watch off, waiting a bit and then turning it back on. This is a scenario where I would do it. But okay, I just wanted to explain it to you and show you how it works. It's a very simple thing and a very simple video. So if you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure to go ahead and click the like button under the video to let me know that you liked it. And for more content similar to this one, make sure to subscribe as well. We can see each other later on in the future. Peace out until then.